All right, second thing we're working on with injury prevention for knees and mechanical knee pain when you're returning to sport and exercise is the lunge. Now, lunges are done in the gym all the time. They're also done in classes. So if Claire goes into a lunge, what we're looking for is, again, their knee control. So whether that knee is moving out of alignment. The other thing, like that, the other thing we're looking for, and we can see a little bit, is what the hip is doing, okay? Because we're now on a semi-single leg, and some people, you'll see that hip control, if it's bad, you'll see it come out. So when she lunges down, that right hip will drop a little bit if the left side is weak. So if that knee is rolling in, it may also be due to the fact that that hip is dropping down. And then you've got a, sort of a couple of things going on the hip. If you get into that point, you probably need that assessed. It's not just a, oh, I need to correct that. It's very hard just to correct your hip up in that position, especially if you're weak on that hip. That may need some specific hip strengthening stability exercises that we can do in physio that help that and improve that positioning. But with the lunge, if you're tracking well with the knee, you're tracking well with the hip, the other thing you gotta be looking at is side on, okay? If her stance is too short, okay? So if you, her stance is too short, go back a little bit. If she squats down, what's gonna happen is she's gonna load this back leg. She's not gonna load the front because her body weight's sitting over that leg. Now this is where people have mechanical knee pain on the back leg because they're just hammering that kneecap too much. Remember the lunge is supposed to be a little bit more biased on the front leg. So do yourself a favor, get the stance longer Stay on the toe on the back foot. Stay on the heel on the front foot. So when you come down, you're trying to have this shin angle the same as the back angle and the same as the back thigh angle. So when she comes down, she needs to also come forward a little bit. So when that shin goes forward, remember that knee can come forward. I wouldn't go well, well forward up here, but it can come forward. That shin angle needs to end up being with the thigh. Now, some of that is just getting your angles correct and bending your hips, but it's also about the foot placement here. So what I would make sure, when you're training the gym to try and prevent knee injuries from the back and the front and getting the hip right, have a mirror perhaps on the side. Have a look at that mirror. See what you're doing. Are your angles correct? Is your stance long enough? And that's gonna help you try and get your form correct. Now, if that all fixes everything, great. That's gonna help you down the track when you're returning to sport, when you're returning to exercise properly. But if it's still not correct, if you can't maintain that form, it's probably because you've got a weakness that needs to be addressed, so get that checked out.